I was wondering why I was not getting any notifications anymore. But I do have Roblox, huh? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily. If you're new, hi, my name is Emily Masters. If you're not new, hey, I'm so glad to be back. So welcome to my channel. By the title of this video today, we are filming a video that I'm so proud to say that I'm to say that I'm actually filming. Sorry, my cat's in the background. By the time of the video, you guys can see that today we're doing a what's in my phone. So I've been meaning to do this video and that is literally, yeah, I sorry, I forgot to say, welcome to the Emily and Bruno channel. My cat is in every single one of my videos. Anyway, so today we're doing a what's in my phone video. Shocking because I've been meaning to do this video for so long and the fact that I'm actually doing it today, it kind of feels like the way I did my Funko Pop collection because it took me months to film that just because I got like a little bit lazy. And after uploading the videos a month later, I realized that I missed two pops, two pops that I also had in my collection. I'll show them like later. I looked at like my collection that's up here and I completely neglected the ones at the back there. Not these ones, just two that I have up there. I just forgot about them. So let's get to the intro talk. Hello, my name is Emily Masters. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and tell on the bell notification you post to get notified every time I upload it. I upload every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure to check out my socials in the description down below. I'm mainly active on Instagram, Spotify, and TikTok, so make sure to check those out. I always give updates and post on my story and also post on Instagram. So if you'd like to check that out, you can follow me. I'm always active there. I decided to be more active on my socials. So the way I am dress and the way the room looks like gives zero connection or vibes to what my phone feels like because my phone feels like a whole different vibe to me for a long time my phone was like in the beige i guess i kind of like style but like I, I was not vibing to it anymore i didn't like it anymore i organized my phone in one of my videos so if you have not watched that video it should be up here up here to be honest i'm never sure which side it is so it, it could be up here you should check that video out where you can see me deleting everything on my phone that's me getting it ready for this video that's why we're doing that okay so in today's video we're going to see what my phone looks looks like so this is the case and this is what my phone looks like okay so on this side you're going to see what my phone looks like today is tuesday february 21st it's 3 44 and this is my lock screen so as you guys can see kind of have like this little theme as you guys can see it's part of the dark aesthetic because i'm obsessed with the dark aesthetic so as you guys can see it's this lock screen all of the lock screens that i have are from pinterest so credit to whoever created this if you'd like to check out my pinterest where i have saved all the pictures that i have on my phone make sure to check my pinterest out it will be on the description down below as you guys can see cigarettes after sex is of course there i love cigarettes after sex when we get into my home screen we see this very small paper still fits the vibe i literally love it i saw this i was like this fits the vibe on the first little page, I don't have anything. Um, I just have my phone app, my Safari, my iMessage, and the Apple Music that I don't use. So on this little screen right here, I just have like the random Apple things like the weather and batteries and news and things like that. Like that's not anything that I like edit it. I kind of just left it there because I didn't even use that. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. On the first, well, basically the second side of my phone, what you're going to find is Color Widgets, which I love that app. If you would like to have all the things that I used, I use Color widget to place all these things on my phone so the first thing that we're gonna have is the time because it fits the aesthetic and of course for the aesthetic to fit more i had to have cigarettes after sex playing because they kind of like own the dark aesthetic i don't know like every time somebody mentions the dark aesthetic i think of cigarettes after sex anyway so we have spotify and then my color widget which is a quote that says music is medicine because music is my medicine every time i listen to music i feel like i'm in a whole entire world the vibe of music like mentally and physically it puts me in like this whole different state I just feel like a whole different person and I feel like I'm writing a whole story of like characters and stuff like that That's what it feels like anyway So the first apps that you're gonna find is Instagram Spotify Twitter and TikTok Which are the apps that I mostly use everything here is what I mostly use I use snapchat as well YouTube video start and whatsapp Those are the main apps that I use on the first well kind of like the second page on the third page We're gonna find more color widgets. These are still apps that I use but they're not like the primary ones that I use So all the color widgets are fitting vibes into the dark aesthetic I'm not sure about like the subway one, but I liked it so I wanted to place it there. The first pictures are giving like nature wise, like the woods and everything. And then we have like the rain and then it's just a random like subway picture. We have the apps, Netflix, Pinterest, E-M-M-O. I don't know if you call it E-M-M-O or it's just emo. I love that app. For that app, I set a reminder every single day at 10 p.m. because that's like the hour before I go to sleep. And I just write down everything that I did today. And I just love the writing. I love writing everything that I did today because I like to go back to it. That's kind of like where I kind of journal. I realized the reason why I wasn't journaling in the book that I had was I'm literally journaling in that app. I guess that's where all the journaling goes. Anyway, 
anyway, we also have Facebook, then we have camera, photos, Gmail, notes, and then we have calendar, clock, fitness, and music ID. If you updated your iPhone, the fitness app is part of like the new update. I like that app. Like I set a calorie goal. So every single day I have to burn such amount of calories and that app pushes you to do it. So as you can see today, I closed my circle. I didn't close it yesterday because yesterday was family. So I wasn't doing anything. So usually I like to close my circles every single day. My goal is like 120 calories, but like I kind of like to do more like probably 150 calories a day. Tracks down how much you walk, how much you run, and it just tracks it down. Sad thing is that it only tracks it down as long as you have your phone. So like whenever I'm at work, it doesn't track it down, but I know that I like I pass. These are apps that I also use. So let's appreciate those apps. Anyway, let's move on to the third slide. So the third slide, as you can see, it's just a bunch of folders. I still don't know exactly what to do there. I don't know if I should bring like another widget or anything else, but I don't know. I just, I kind of leave it there. So let's just go through the apps. So we have a bunch of folders. So we have the first one that's called health. The other one is entertainment, the other one is school, the other one's followers. And then we have education, games, photo editing, shopping, productivity, editing, utilities, photo and video. Well, what? okay, anyway. So on the first health one is I was wondering why I was not getting any notifications anymore. Anyway, so on the health app, I have my two apps where I track my period, pretty much. I use both of those apps. I've been using them for so long. I just, I'm kind of like loyal to both of them. I can't decide which one I like more. I also have the app I am. I love that app. Every single day at 9 a.m. Just send me a notification. It sends you like positive things. Like it kind of tells you like today is going to be the day or like, I don't know how to explain it, but it sends you good things every single morning. So entertainment is pretty much like Uber, Ticketmaster. Yeah, and a bunch of stuff. Okay, so my school app, we have Bulldog slides grammarly google drive studiosity g1 test because i'm planning on getting my g1 test this year like i really want to get it this year by the end of summer i want to get my g1 test so that's the plan planning on getting that so that's something that i want to do blackboard and other abro mobile all right so we have followers so i don't use half of these apps i mainly use the reports one because it reports everything if it's growing if people are engaging to it it shows me who i'm following and everything it kind of shows you the insights that instagram doesn't show you then we have Bitmoji, Telenai, and Repose that I don't even use anymore. So education, we have French, Duolingo, another French app, Blue, Cake, and Translate. So I've been saying that I want to get into learning French again. I am slowly getting into it. I'm not pushing myself just yet to going on Duolingo. I have been listening to a lot of French podcasts and I've been getting into like a lot of French shows again just because I've been so obsessed with podcasts, going through TikTok and just going through the best podcasts in French that I could go to. I didn't give up on it. I just sort of just took a break. Anyway, so another Another folder that we have is games. I used to play a lot of these games, but I don't really anymore. I kind of just download it whenever I want to play, and then I guess another update comes in and I have to download it again. But yeah, yeah, these are games that I love playing. I do have Roblox, and I do play Roblox. Roblox is literally a part of my childhood. Another folder that we have is the photo editing, which I don't use any of these apps besides Pixar. I kind of want to start Visco. I feel like I've said this in so many of my videos, but I want to start using Visco, so we're just gonna re-download that. And Visco is like the little app where you could just be all aesthetic. Another app that we have is shopping, which I have have these apps not even downloaded. So we have shop uber eats tim hortons amazon starbucks and mcdonald's i've been spending so much money on starbucks which i never do another folder that i have is productivity but like nothing is there so let's just skip to editing so editing i don't use any of these apps not a single one of them i don't use any of these apps except for cap cut like the monthly dumps i get them off of cap cut but other than that i don't use anything in here i should start deleting a bunch of apps now let's go to utilities so we have settings facetime calculator color widgets which is the app that i use for all of my widgets so if you like to download it make sure to download it and we have have maps app store find my <laughs> and wallet it's just the basic apps that everybody has and then our last folder is photo and video so we have soundcloud youtube studio podcast messenger disney plus and hit tv i love hit tv oh my god literally love hit tv bless hit tv it has me updated on every single drama that comes out i love hit tv soundcloud i haven't used soundcloud in a really long time youtube studio i use it of course because YouTube. messenger i have to re-download it my mom sends me videos there so <laughs> i have to download it and then disney plus which i have not updated i kind of just use disney plus on my tv and my macbook so kind of that's why i don't really watch anything on my phone besides like dramas because hit tv only like mainly works on phone it doesn't really work on a computer and then over here is just app library is just all the apps that i have why is pinterest all alone anyway pinterest is just all alone that's all i have in my phone and yeah we've come to the end of the video if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and tell all the bell notifications you're supposed to get notified when i upload
Sorry. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification you're supposed to get notified every time I upload it. I upload every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I've been so consistent, which I'm so proud of myself. Consistency is just good. Like, it's, it's been good. Like, I've been uploading my videos on time. They've been up every Friday. Anyway, if you like this video, you already know what to do. If you'd like to check out my socials, they're all in the description down below. If you'd like to check out any of the widgets that I use, or if you want to use those as well, they're in my Pinterest. Also, credits to everybody who took the pictures and who created the wallpapers. They're cute. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Same time, same day, same channel. Oh, oh, also, those are the Funko Pops that I was talking about. Like, I forgot to show Eugene and Rapunzel. I'm not sure if I show them in my What's in My Funko Pop collection, but, you know, those are the two that I missed, I'm pretty sure. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!